Hi everyone, I just want to welcome you to this session on using Google Read and Write. For the most part we'll be working obviously in Google and over here in our course option 20. Uh, we'll be looking at basically four different ways where you can re use Read and Write uh, in a document, in a PDF, on a website, or using it for talk and type. So I'm going to try and divide this up into four or five different segments. This will be the introduction that you're looking at right now. If at any time you have questions or anything, any thoughts that come up during the session, come on over here to the right to the activity feed and you can post any questions you might have. You can just click on comments and you can come into here and write your comment uh, about what you have and press post. I'll be moderating it to kind of keep track of things as we're going through. But for the most part, the first thing you have to do to make sure this is all going to work is make sure you're signed into, into Chrome. So number one, you have to be on the Chrome browser, which I'm on right now. Um, if you're using a Chromebook, you or your students are using a Chromebook, you don't have to worry about this ever. If you're using another kind of computer, you have to make sure that you're signed in. So over here in the top right corner, you might see three little dots, or you might see this little exclamation mark. Click on that, go down to settings, and you want to make sure that you have turned on syncing. And sign in with your school credentials. Or you're going to click on link data. That's going to load up all the programs that are associated with your school account and, and Read and Write is one of those. So that's going to make sure Read and Write is turned on and working properly and then we have all the features available for Read and Write. Turn that on, head back over here to option 20 and we'll get started. Click down for the next segment of the videos. Thanks.